G'day guys and welcome to the channel, Mr. Dusty here. Pretty fortunate today for our fourth part of the Celica series. We're gonna get to see a GT4 Celica, which was actually a barn find. Two days ago, it was on a chicken farm covered in rubbish, chickens running across it, and now we're going to see it. It hasn't been washed or anything, it's just been taken home to my friend's house. Honestly, it's gonna be really cool to compare my car compared to what the top edition has. Now, there's many versions. There's a Japanese version of the GT4, there's the Australian version. This is the Australian one, but it's gonna be very cool to actually see this car in person. We're gonna give it a clean today, hopefully, and just get all of the crap off it. If you do enjoy the content, please leave a like. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Instagram, link down below. But we're driving there now. Let's go see this car. First time I've seen it, I've only seen one photo of it. So I'm freaking keen. I'm really keen. Let's come through. Oh, now, that's special. I'm glad you haven't cleaned it yet. How did this all come along? How did you find this Celica? Just yeah, yeah. Barn? Yeah, so my dad's mate, he, he just let my dad know, yeah, that he has this old, yeah, Celica in his yard. Nah, it hasn't been moved in 10 years, hasn't been regoed. Hasn't even, like, got out of his chicken coop because it was actually, like, in his chicken yard. Yeah, so we went around, like, not expecting much, but we pulled up, no rust at all. 10 years in the light weather. It's pretty good. So it was outdoors? It yeah, yeah, it was outdoors, just, like, under a tree. And then, yeah, there's branches and shit all over it. So we've got the leaf blower, had a look in it. Um, the doors were locked when we like went and looked at it and the key obviously was in the ignition so we had to break into it. So what does it need? Because the guy obviously left it for some reason. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. So what does it need? I haven't even like had a chance to go over the whole thing but um, from what I can see obviously it needs a turbo because um, we have the turbo but no spindle or vacuum on it. So I think I'll just order a new one. They're about 600 bucks. It needs to run because it doesn't run. I mean, yeah. Who knows? Like, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. 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 Been sitting a while, but I, I think she will clean up pretty good, like pretty quick. I mean, the interior is in mint condition. Oh yeah, There's yeah. Barely need to touch it. it yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not hard though. Um, I might get that one re uh, posted. Yeah. Because keep um, it stock. Yeah, right? keep it stock, and then try and source some stock springs and shit. Because I got the stock wheels and everything. Yeah. So this is a new project. Yeah, new project. Um, buddy. We have the other one still going. The MR2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, got so two going at the moment. MR2 first or Celica? I gotta focus on the MR2 because I gotta sell it. Yeah. And then after I sell it, I got money to spend on this one. Yeah. Yeah. How many Ks has it got? We didn't check how many Ks. Okay, it's done quite 263,000. And look at that, instead of the battery. So, in on my car, they've got a battery voltage. This has a turbo. A boost gauge. I love that. But a lot of the stuff's the same. Interior-wise, there's very few differences, which is actually kind of surprising. The seats are very nice, though. Look at those, and they're in really good condition. They've just been sitting for 10 years or so. I love these seats. They're freaking really comfy. That's the big thing about this car, is these seats are in mint condition, even though it's been outdoors for yonks. Not even the paint. I honestly, I'll leave the paint. Look at that sunlight. I don't know what these things are here. There's little things around. Alrighty. The paint isn't that bad. I clear coat peel every little bit, but yeah, it's a, a white car. Did a clear coat peel. Oh, no, I wouldn't like. I would leave it honestly. We'll, we'll see what it looks like uh, under it. Polish after, pretty good. See what it looks like. Yeah. I mentioned this, guys. So one thing that I've noticed, as you saw before. The reason why the uh, spare wheel was raised up is because there's a drop tank down here. Now look at this thing. That is pretty mean. I don't know if that's a factory option. You guys can let us know. But that is, that's really different. I didn't expect the fuel tank to be in a different location. So is this a Series 1? I think this is a Series 1 and Series 2. I'm not sure. Series 2 because it has the um, 3S GT. So I must, have a, I must have a Series 1 because, well, I don't know, the lights are huge on this.
first clean for this car, first time cleaning it, and it's coming out so much better than expected. Obviously white, it doesn't have much clear coat peel, but it's so nice seeing this car finally be washed after however long it's been. So much better. So there you have it, that's the first clean and there's still way more that's going to come off when, once this car gets a proper detail, but uh, it's, it's impressive for its first, first actual wash. So that was an Oz delivered GT4. What a freaking awesome car. If you're liking the content, please give this video a like and check me out on Facebook and Instagram, Mr. Dusty Media. Uh, see you guys soon for part five when the car's gonna be driven, our car, and then it's gonna be finished. Take care, adios.